Before we begin, make sure to subscribe and press the notification bell. The Philippines is home to more than 7,641 islands, and each island showcases its unique culture, traditions, and beauty. In this series, I will be your guide in discovering the beauty of my country. I am TJ, and let's begin the journey. The municipality of Bontoc is located in the heart of Mountain Province. Its central location enabled Bontoc to become one of the main commercial hubs of the Cordilleras. The town is named after the Bontoc tribe, feared in the ancient times because of their headhunting tradition. During the American colonial period in the early 20th century, Bontoc served as the capital of the entire Cordillera region. Bontoc is also the name of a former sub-province encompassing the present territories of Bontoc, Sagada, Sadanga, Barlig, Natonin, and Paracelis in Mountain Province, and Tinglayan in Kalinga. In today's episode of Atyad JT's Adventures, we list down the best tourist destinations in Bontoc Mountain Province. There are three options to reach Bontoc using public transport. If you are coming from Manila, the best option is to ride buses bound for Sagada and ask the bus conductor to drop you off in Bontoc. Koda Lines in Cubao is one of the most popular buses that play this route. The second option is via Baguio City. You can ride local buses that play the Baguio Bontoc route traversing the Halsema Highway, known as the highest altitude highway in the Philippines. The third option is via jeepney from Tabuk City, Kalinga. Prepare to top load and enjoy the sceneries along the way. Now that you're in Bontoc, here are some of the places that you should visit, beginning at the downtown area. The mountain province capital was built during the American colonial period. It stands at the heart of Bontoc, on top of a hill overlooking the entire town. A huge plaza is situated on its base, becoming a popular meetup spot for the locals. When I visited Bontoc in 2014, the left side of the provincial capital was demolished. However, there are reports that a restoration is underway headed by the National Historical Commission of the Philippines. The Bontoc Museum is located just a few meters away from the provincial capital. The museum boasts a traditional architectural style and it is divided into two sections, one inside the building and the other one outside. Visitors are not allowed to use their cameras inside the museum, which houses important Bontoc artifacts. Taking photos is only reserved for the section outside the museum building, where Bontoc traditional homes are displayed. Inside these homes, one could learn about the local people's way of life. The Cathedral of All Saints is situated along Lok Ong Road. This church belongs to the Episcopal Diocese of Northern Philippines of the Anglican Church. In Mountain Province, around 60% of the population adheres to the Anglican faith. The new municipal building of Bontoc was inaugurated last 2018. The building features a Bontoc old house carved into its facade. A sign which spells Bontoc is also installed outside. Kachog Rice Terraces is the nearest rice terraces from downtown Bontoc. If you were staying in the town for a limited time, you should put the Kachog Rice Terraces in your itinerary. Bayo Rice Terraces is located in Barangay Bayo and it is one of the most spectacular sites in the municipality. You can easily find this spot if you were going to Bontoc from Banawe. Humuyu Falls is considered as one of the tallest waterfalls in Bontoc, located in Barangay Talubin. To visit the falls, one would need to endure a difficult height, crossing streams and rocky terrains along the way. 
Dalican Rice Terraces is located in Barangay Dalican. It is highly recommended to visit this site early in the morning to witness the sunrise and a sea of clouds. Pusong Lake is also located in Barangay Dalican, and it is one of Bontok's best-kept secrets. Most tourists have never heard of this place before, but it is bound to change in the future because more and more people are promoting it. Hot springs are abundant in Barangay Mainit. According to the Mines and Geosciences Bureau, the barangay sits on top of Mount Patok a stratovolcano with strong fumarolic activity resulting to the abundance of hot springs. Save the best for last, Barangay Maligkong is home to one of the most magnificent rice terraces in the Cordilleras after Batad. It is an underrated destination and only a few have visited the place. To see the full glory of Maligkong rice terraces, one should hike the nearby Mount Kupape early in the morning. What you'll witness next is something marvelous. The historical capital of the Cordilleras is slowly becoming a popular tourist destination on its own. If you haven't been to Bontoc Mountain Province, you should definitely place it in your bucket list. That's all for today. I am TJ and see you next time for another adventure. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. You can also check my travel channel, TripNetDJ, and subscribe there as well. Thank you very much!